something bad if you draw my robot using gestures and then it did object tracking. Now it started following humans. It follows me everywhere. Let's see it now. This human following robot is made using a Raspberry Pi 3A+. It runs a pre-trained machine learning model for object detection. The model can detect 90 types of objects including a person. TensorFlow Lite interpreter is installed on Raspberry Pi which interacts with the model. And to accelerate the inferencing process, Google Coral USB accelerator is attached to Raspberry Pi. With Coral attached, the robot can process up to 10 frames per second and detect object in the frames. And if the model detects a person in the frame, the Python code moves the robot to track it. The model is very accurate. No matter which part of the body you show to the camera, it gets correctly recognized as person. The robot detects multiple objects simultaneously. However, it is programmed to track a person and ignore the other objects. Therefore, even in the presence of background clutter, it continues to follow the person. Doesn't matter whether you are indoor or outdoor, it still follows. Let's see how this human following robot works. The robot's camera captures the view in front of it and the picture of frame is fed to the object detection machine learning model. The model returns a list of objects along with their positions in the frame. The Python code goes through this list and looks for the presence of a person in it. If the list contains a person, the corresponding information is retained and other objects are dropped. Using the coordinate information provided by machine learning model, the code draws bounding box around the person and initiates the tracking function. Tracking is all about providing direction commands to robot, which includes left, right and forward motion commands. Let's see how they are calculated from the coordinate information. The deviation of center of person from the center of frame determines left and right commands. The green lines show acceptable tolerance. When the person is not within the green line, the robot moves left or right to bring the person in the center of the frame. Once the person is in center, the code monitors the distance between the bottom edge of the bounding box and the bottom edge of the frame. If this distance is more than the predefined threshold, the robot moves forward. When the robot moves forward, size of the bounding box increases and bottom edge of the bounding box approaches the bottom edge of the frame. At the set threshold, the robot stops moving. In robot's view, you can see these values getting changed in real time. Observe how the motion command is generated based on the location of person. This is the connection diagram. The 12 volt DC motors are controlled via this L293D motor driving board. The 12 volt DC supply required for the motors is derived from MT3608 module, which is a DC to DC up converter. It converts 5 volt supply from battery bank to 12 volt DC. The other port of battery powers up the Raspberry Pi. Therefore, a single battery bank with two ports can be used to power up the whole setup. The main function begins with initializing the interpreter and loading the ML model. Then inside a loop, robot's camera captures frames and feeds them to the ML model to perform inference. The model provides the list of objects present in the frame. 
this list is passed to the tracking function as a parameter. Inside the tracking function, this part looks for the presence of a person and ignores rest of the objects. And this part calculates the deviation of the person from the center of the frame and bottom edge of the frame. Now that all the requisite parameters are available, move robot function is called inside a thread so that the main code goes on to process the next frame. Coming to the robot movement function, this part turns the robot right or left and this part moves it ahead. All of this is happening 10 times a second to get a quick response from the robot. The code can be downloaded from the GitHub link provided in the description below. This is where the code is placed in Raspberry Pi. Every other folder you see here is a different project in itself, adding various capabilities to this robot. You can explore other projects from the links provided below. Stay tuned for more videos on AI robotics, Internet of Things and Home Automation. Thanks for watching.